Okay, so in this example, we're going to be talking about Pascal's triangle and how we can use it for probability. Now, all of the problems in this video are going to be dealing with a coin toss, meaning you could either have heads or tails. And when you're using Pascal's triangle, remember, it's used for binomial expansion, meaning you have two terms. And so you can think of heads and tails as your two terms. So in other words, you can use this method that I'm about to show you if you're comparing two things because Pascal's triangle works for binomial expansion. And so when you apply it to probability and you're comparing two different things, it will also work. Now, you have to have knowledge of Pascal's triangle, so make sure you're up to date on that. Also, I'm going to link a video below on using Pascal's triangle for combination problems because that's very similar to what we're about to do here. And with all of that being said, let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to do the first problem here. It says a coin is tossed four times. What is the probability of getting at least two heads? So again, in capital letters there, you can see at least. So again, you could have three heads, you could have four heads, but it has to be at least two heads, right? Now, the first question is how many times are you going to toss it? What is your total? My total here is going to be four. I can see that right here, okay? So from here, you want to go ahead and write out Pascal's triangle and you want to expand it up to the diagonal of the fourth power. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and write out Pascal's triangle. I'll have one, 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 right? And then I get two, one, one, right? Really easy to do this. Just expanding it out. And then finally, I can see my diagonal, right? So I expanded it out to the fourth power. I can see that right here. Okay, and again, I'm talking about this diagonal right here. All right. So now that we did that, we want to go ahead and expand it out using binomial expansion. Now, again, the two things that we're talking about is heads and tails. So you could write it as H plus T all to the fourth power, or you could write it as H minus T all to the fourth power. It's not going to matter. Okay, it won't matter if you write addition or subtraction here. It won't matter for this probability problem, okay? I'll just use this one here, that's fine, okay? So I'm gonna do h plus t all to the fourth power. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this here. And we're going to expand it out just like we normally would using Pascal's triangle. So we start with our first coefficient, which is one. And we're gonna say here one times h and then times t, okay? And we know that this is going to have an exponent of four. This will have an exponent of zero, okay? and then plus, and then we have our coefficient of four, same thing, h and t. This will now have an exponent of three. This will have an exponent of one. And then plus, our next coefficient is six. So h times t. This will now have an exponent of two. This will also have an exponent of two. I'm just gonna write it below now. Plus, our next coefficient is four. And then we have h and t, so this will be one and three, and then finally, plus our next coefficient is one, and we get h times t, okay? And this will now become zero and four, okay? So once you expand it out, you're pretty much done, okay? It says, what is the probability of getting at least two heads? So look at the exponent values on your variable h. So for example, right here, I have h to the second power. Okay, that's at least two heads. Where else do I have it? Well, I have it right here, h to the third power. That's at least two heads. And then I also have it here, h to the fourth power. That is also going to be at least two heads. So once you identify all of your possibilities, all you have to do now is look at the coefficients in the front. So for example, I have one, I have four, and I have six. If I add those up, I get 11. So 11 is gonna go on my numerator. So I'll have 11 all over the total. So now I just add up the coefficient. So for example, looking at Pascal's triangle here, you're just gonna add up this row here of one plus four plus six plus four plus one. And when you do that, you get 16. And so the total will go on your denominator. I get 16 here. And so plugging that into your calculator, you're gonna do 11 divided by 16 and you get 0.6875. And again, we can write that as a percentage just move the decimal point over two places to the right. So as a percentage, it's gonna be 68.75%, okay? So if you toss a coin four times, the probability of getting at least two heads is going to be 68.75%, okay? 
That is much easier than creating a list and then having to guess and check to make sure that you didn't miss any possibilities, right? All right, let's go ahead and try another example. So here's our next example and it says the following, a coin is tossed three times. What is the probability of getting at most two tails, okay? So now you can't go over two, right? So again, we're gonna draw out Pascal's triangle and we're going to expand it out to the diagonal of the third power. Because again, my total here is going to be three. So expanding out Pascal's triangle, we get one, 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 right? And then two, one, one, and then finally three, three, one, and one, there we go. So we're using this row right here. These are the coefficients I'm using. So now again, same thing, I'm just gonna write H plus T all to the third power. Again, you could write H minus T, it's not gonna matter here, okay? And so from here, we're gonna go ahead and expand it out. So writing out my coefficients, I have one, and then times H times T. This will be to the third power, this will be to the zero power, okay? And then plus three times H times T. This will be to the second power, this will be to the first power, right? And then plus, and then we get three times H times T. So again, this will become one, this will become two, and then finally we get plus, my last coefficient there is one, times h times t, and this will be zero, and then three, okay? So again, go back to the original question, it's asking what is the probability of getting at most two tails? So look at your exponent values on the variable t. Well, I could get zero tails, that would work, okay? I could get one tails, that would also work, and I could get two tails, that would also work. But again, I cannot go over that number two. So now looking at my coefficients, I have one, I have three, and I have three. So if I add that up, I'll get seven. So that means seven is gonna go on my numerator. On my denominator, all I have to do is add up the total. So again, looking at your row, I have one plus three, that's four. Four plus three is seven. And then seven plus one, I get eight. So my total there is going to be eight. So the probability here is gonna be seven over eight. If I put that into my calculator, I get 0.875. So as a percentage, I could write it as 87.5%, okay? So if you toss a coin three times, the probability of getting at most two tails is 87.5%. Okay, let's try one more example. So here's our last example. Again, another coin toss problem. This time you're tossing it five times and they wanna know what is the probability of getting exactly three heads. So we have to expand it out to the fifth power on that diagonal. So using Pascal's triangle, we will get one, one, and one, right? And then again, we're gonna go all the way to the fifth power. So we're just gonna go ahead and expand it out. We get four, six, four. And my last row right here, I get five. 10, 10, five, and then one and one. All right, so we're good there. These are the coefficients I'm gonna be using when I expand it out. All right, so why don't we go ahead and do that? Now again, I'm gonna write it as H plus T, that's fine. So H plus T all to the fifth power. And now we're gonna go ahead and expand it out. So my first coefficient here is one. So I have one times H times T, okay? So fifth power, zero power, and then continue on. Now I have plus five times H times T. This will be the fourth power, this will be the first power, okay? Then plus, my next coefficient is 10. So just writing that out. And this will be the third power, this will be the second power. And again, notice how your exponents will always add up to the total. So you can do a quick check as you're doing these problems. Make sure that your exponents are always adding up to your total, in this case here, five, all right? And then I have plus, my next coefficient is 10. And then I'll have H and T again. So now this goes down one, I get two, and this goes up one, I get three, okay? Almost done. Plus, here I get five, H and T. So now this is one, this is four, and then finally plus one. Here I get H and T, and this becomes zero, this becomes five. So they wanna know the probability of getting exactly three heads. 
So there's only one possibility here, and that's going to be right here where I have h to the third power. That is exactly three heads. The coefficient in front is 10. So on my numerator, I'm gonna have 10. So I'm gonna put 10 over the total. So my total here, when I add up this row, is going to be 32. So 32 goes on my denominator. And then when I plug that into my calculator, I get 0.3125. And again, as a percentage, that's going to be 31.25%. Okay, and that problem's done. And so that's how you can use Pascal's triangle for probability. It's pretty straightforward and much easier than creating a list trying to do these problems, right? So that's gonna do it for this video. If you gained anything from this video or if it helped you in any way, if you could just go ahead and give it a thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you get more math videos in the future and I'll see you in the next one.